السلام علیکم ذاکر نائک مائی نیم از حسین محمد فرام کیمرون افریقہ سر ایم سفرنگ فرام یورین انکنسسٹنسی اٹ از ویری ڈیفیکلٹ فار می ٹو بی چینجنگ مائی کلوز ایوری پریئر اینڈ ایوری ٹائم آئی وانٹ ٹو میک ودو اٹ کمز آؤٹ آئی ایم ان اے ویری ڈیفیکلٹ سچویشن سر پلیز ٹیل می واٹ ٹو ڈو اے سملر کوشچن السلام علیکم My name is Firoz Qazi. I am from Cape Town, South Africa. I have irritable bowel syndrome, IBS, and I keep on passing wind at irregular intervals. Many a time after I do wudu, I pass wind. Is my salah valid? The question posed by the brothers is that he passes urine. He has inconsistency in the passing of urine, dribbling of urine. and the other person passes wind regularly so how will you offer a salah the wudu keeps on breaking the reply to this is given in the hadith of sahih bukhari volume number 1 hadith number 2 to 8 that fatima bint abi hubaish may allah be pleased with her she approaches the prophet and she tells the prophet that i have been having a regular vaginal bleeding should i stop my prayers forever and the prophet tells her that this vaginal bleeding which is continuous is not your menstrual blood whenever you have your regular menstrual period at that time you stop praying the moment the menstrual period is over you have a bath you wash yourself you do wudu and you pray your salah and when you offer the next salah again you do a new wudu this similar message is even given in the hadith of sai muslim boy number 1 hadith number 753 hadith aisha may allah be peace with her she said that she heard from the same sahabia fatima bint abi hubaish that she told the prophet that she has vaginal bleeding continuously she should she stop salah and the prophet said this bleeding is from a vein it is not your menstrual blood So when you have your regular menstrual period at that time you stop praying when your menstrual period ends have a bath do wudu and pray and when the next salah comes you again do wudu and pray so based on this hadith the scholars they say that similar condition for inconsistency in urine where there is dribbling of urine where you keep on passing urine at regular intervals or if you are passing wind or if you are emitting madhi or prostatic fluid at regular intervals all these cases all this bleeding regularly from the nose etc in these conditions the same ruling will apply what is there for the continuous vaginal bleeding which is a non menstrual bleeding and here the scholars say that when the time for salah is there when the time for salah starts at that time you can wash your private part do wudu and you offer the salah now when you offer the salah during that time if the urine comes or if the wind passes your salah is accepted but when the next salah comes again wash your part again do a fresh wudu and you offer salah during the time when you offering salah as long as you done wudu at the start when the salah time starts you wash your part do wudu after that when you pray your farz or your nafil or your sunna and if you pass urine or pass wind or bleeding is there your salah is accepted in this case there are two views one group of scholars says that the wudu is valid till the next salah starts based on the hadith of bukhari and muslim the other group of scholars says no the wudu is valid till the end of the salah till the end of the salah time and it's not valid till the start of the next salah now these two views the difference is that if you do wudu for fajr salah when the time for fajr azan is there the moment you hear the azan after that you wash your private part you do wudu you offer your fajr salah do the sunnah fajr salah in congregation no problem but if you want to offer your salat al duha which is after sunrise 
the first group of scholars who say that your salah is valid till the start of next salah, that is the Zohar salah. They say you need not do wudu again and need not wash your private part again. But the second group of scholars which is more correct, they say that no, the time for Fajr is over, the sun has risen. If you want to offer Salat to Dua, make a fresh wudu, wash your private part, make a fresh wudu and then your Salah will be valid. I believe that it is better to be safe and I believe in the second group of scholars that for every Salah time, and since the Fajr Salah is over, if you want to offer Salah to Duha, then you wash yourself again, do a fresh wudu, and then you do, that is the best. Similarly, after Isha, you want to offer Tahajjud. And while offering Qayyamul Layl or Tahajjud, it is past midnight. The Salah time for Isha is up to midnight in Nisful Layl. So if you are continuing your Salah after midnight, it is preferable and rather a requirement that you do new wudu, wash your private parts again, do wudu, that is the best because the Qayyamul Layl or Tajud after the Nisful Layl, the time for Isha is over, so the wudu is not valid. This is difference of opinion and this is according to Ahmad ibn Hanbal, may Allah have mercy on him. This is the opinion. When this question was asked to Sheikh Ibn Uthaymin, he said, when a person asked that I keep on passing urine regularly, and my wudu breaks, so how should I offer salah? So the reply he gave is that inconsistency of urine is of two types. One is it keeps on coming every few minutes. The moment it enters the urinary bladder, it comes out, or rather call it dribbling of urine. The other type of inconsistency is that when the bladder is full and you urinate, then urine does not come out for maybe 15 minutes or 20 minutes. So if you fall in the second category type of people, where once you go to the toilet, once you empty your bladder, then at least for 15 minutes or 20 minutes, there is no urination, then it is preferable you empty your bladder and then offer salah. Or even if you have to wait for emptying your bladder, wait. Even if you miss your jama, no problem, it is better. Empty your bladder, then you wash yourself, do wudu and pray, that is the best. But if you fall in the first category of people, where the urine keeps on coming out every few minutes, or dribbling of urine is there, then in this case, the moment the time for salah starts, after you hear the adhan, you wash yourself, do your wudu and keep a cloth close to your private part, so that while you're offering salah, the urine doesn't spill, it doesn't spoil your clothes, doesn't come out on the musalla. Keep a cloth and you offer salah. Even if the urine comes out in between, no problem. You can offer your nafil, you can offer your sunnah, you can offer your faraiz, you can join the jama'ah. It is accepted. This wudu is valid till the end of the prayer time. If you're offering fajr, then from the fajr adhan till the sun starts rising. Or if you're offering dohar, after the sun reaches its highest point, after a few minutes, till just before the Adhan of Asar. So for the full time it's valid, your wudu is valid. When this question was asked to Sheikh bin Baz, may Allah have mercy on him, that it is a must to keep on changing clothes when you're offering Salah, after the urine comes out, it's difficult. So bin Baz, may Allah have mercy on him, he said that it is preferable that once you wash your part and once you do wudu, your clothes should be clean. And after that, if you offer salah, the clothes get dirty, wear clean clothes, wash yourself, wear clean clothes, it's the best. But if you cannot, it's not possible you can do it always, then even if you do with the dirty clothes, as long as you wash yourself, you do a fresh wudu and you pray, it's accepted. And there are many scholars, including Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, May Allah have mercy on him. He says that if there are problems for a person to do wudu and wash very often, you can join your prayers. You can join your Zohar and Asar together and pray any time from the start of Zohar Salah till the end of Asar Salah both together. Or you can also join your Maghrib and Isha Salah together. If you have problems of doing wudu again or washing your clothes, it's difficult. Joining the Salah is permitted in such cases. So this ruling based on the Hadith of Bukhari and Muslim, for a lady 
who has vaginal bleeding, it is not the menstrual cycle. It is applicable for people who have inconsistency in urine or doubling of urine or passing of wind or continuous bleeding, all these cases. And I would like to say that if you have inconsistency of urine, that nowadays you have adult diapers. So my advice to you would be that after you wash your private part and when you do wudu, you can wear a male diaper, an adult diaper. The adult diaper is very convenient. It's the best. There are good quality which is expensive. You can't afford, you can buy the cheap quality. And even if you're praying five times a day, you may have to change the diaper five times. Or if you're offering Salat al Dua, then six times. If you're even offering Kiamu Lail, maximum seven times. So if you have seven diapers, adult diapers, it solves your problem. It will be very clean. There's no soiling of urine. So now the facility is there. So best would be you wash yourself and do wudu, wear a male diaper. It's very convenient. It is the best. If you can't afford even a cheap diaper and you're very poor, then you can keep a napkin or a cloth and that will solve your problem. It will prevent soiling but may not be very convenient. In this way, inshallah, you can offer your five times salah, you can offer salah to duha, you can offer even your tajud or qayamul layl and surely all your salah as long as you do a fresh wudu at the start of the time of salah and you wash your part and do fresh wudu, it is valid till the end of the time of that salah and your salah would be valid. Hope that's the question.